Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and welcome to our third Scratch tutorial where we're going to play around with sounds, and we are going to make some sounds for our helicopter animation. Now, usually it'd be in control or motion or sensing, you need to click up here in the left-hand corner on sound, and that gets you the sound. So let's just drag a sound out here, and we can click on it to get it to play. And you can change the sound, all right? So we might go for a low tom there. Now, if you want to uh, make that sound play some things, go to Control, and let's have um, something here to repeat it, okay? So we'll repeat maybe not 10 times, but perhaps um, three times. Okay, and let's click on that to hear it. All right, so that's kind of like drum sounds. Let's just uh, discard that. Um, what else you can do is on sounds, go back to sounds, we can, uh, you can play notes. So, and here you can change your note. All right, um, so we can play, I don't know, let's play F. So let's duplicate that a few times and click them in, so right, click and duplicate and click it in and we'll have one more <coughs> click it in and let's make that first note um, A B C middle C and play that so you can uh, you know get a control thing and make it so that when you click the green flag you know, your little uh, thing can play a whole little song. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, now, what else we can do here in sounds is we can set the instrument, all right? At the moment, that is set to acoustic grand piano. But if you want to, you could set it to a different kind of um, instrument. So let's set it to, um, say, glockenspiel. All right, so, so you can put in different instruments. Now, something here is that you might not hear sounds. Um, what can sometimes happen is we'll just go to Windows. Um, in Control Panel, this is Windows XP, Sounds and Audio Devices, if you click under the Volume tab here at the top, Unadvanced, it might be that your MIDI synth, this last one here, MIDI synth is muted. And what will happen then in Scratch is when you click, you won't have anything, all right? Now, when I first downloaded Scratch, that's what happened, all right? I didn't have any sounds, and I couldn't figure it out until I Googled and read some forums and made sure then that I had this set up not muted, all right? So once you've done that, then you should have your sounds quite okay. All right, you can also play sounds out of the Scratch library. Now, at the moment, there aren't any sounds in there. What you have to do is go up here and click to Sounds tab and import a sound. So down the bottom here on Sounds, we'll just have, um, say, uh, a music loop even. And here's drum set one. All right, so we click OK, and that brings it in. So once it's in here in the sounds, we can then go back to scripts and we can get drum set one and make it play. All right, so you have to bring sounds in. Now you can also record your own sound. Now I won't do it here because it's not gonna work because I'm using the microphone for this uh, tutorial, but you can click on this red record button and we can record a sound like we recorded a helicopter sound like <laughs> and then you stop it with the stop button and click OK. And what will happen is it will come in here in the sounds as well, and then back in your scripts, it should be available in the click down, all right? So um, that's kind of a quick rundown on sounds. Now, to make a helicopter sound, we've played around and figured it out in advance, but basically what we need to do is um, we need uh, to play Okay, a drum sound. So the drum sound we've picked um, on our helicopter is drum sound 70 maracas. All right, now that's not going to do much unless we get a um, 
forever loop in here. All right, so we'll just click a forever loop from controls in there and go back to sounds and click on this. Okay, so it's a little bit like a helicopter. What we need is another drum sound as well because when helicopters fly around, you often get kind of this echo as the um, sound echoes around all the buildings and surroundings. So we're using this one, Short Giro, and still doesn't sound like a helicopter, right? What we need is a set the volume. We'll put this in here and we set the volume to 50% on this one and we'll have another set volume here. Okay, and that one we're going to set to 40%. And it's kind of a very slow helicopter. So to speed it up, we need to go into beats here. And we're going to change the beats and we're going to use, uh, uh, we will use 0.09 in there. And in this one for the beats, we're going to use 0.07. And notice that we can have the thing running and change it on the fly here. And that sound there is kind of about the best thing we could do for a helicopter. So that's what we're going to use. I'll just press the stop button to stop that. The red button up the top right hand corner. So that's what we're actually going to use for our helicopter in the sounds. All right. So there's all sorts of sound effects in Scratch. You can even make it play little songs um, with different instruments. So you could even have, you know, three instruments going playing on um, different things and have some drums going. You could spend all your time just making sounds in Scratch. But this is basically it. That will be our sound for the helicopter. And what we need to do is bring that into the helicopter project to finish this tutorial off. Okay, unfortunately, you can't copy between projects, or I haven't found a way to do it yet um, anyway. So we're just going to open up Helicopter 2 project that we had, flying the helicopter around. And unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, rebuild that sound. So we'll have, uh, when clicked here, uh, we'll need a forever loop to put things in. And we'll go back to sounds. And remember, first up, we were setting the volume. Okay, so the volume was going to, um, let's see, 50%. And that block snapped into the wrong place there. So we have to snap things apart, move them apart here, and get that snapped into there. Then we needed to play the drum, and the drum we were playing was the Maracas 70. And we were playing that to remember to speed it up. We had 0 0.09 in there. So we'll just move that down and snap it in. And then we needed to change our volume slightly, set the volume down this time to 40%. All right, so we'll snap that guy in there. And the last thing we needed was that other drum, okay, to make that kind of helicopter echo sound. And the one we used for that was 73 short gyro, and we changed its beats um, down to 0.07. All right, so that's our forever loop finished. We'll just click it in over here. And so when we click the arrow to start, we should get the helicopter sound playing forever. So let's uh, go to preview mode and try that out. So up in the top right hand corner here, presentation mode. And we need to click the green arrow at the top right hand corner. And there's our helicopter sound and our helicopter's flying around making lovely helicopter noises as it does it. All right. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. I'll just press the red stop button there. And what we're going to be looking at next is finishing this off by getting backgrounds in. That'll be our part four tutorial will be on backgrounds now. Remember, you can go to our website, look at the YouTube details. There'll be a link there. It'll have all the helicopter scratch tutorials and it will have a screen print of this code for the sound. All right, so we hope you enjoyed this and that you're learning some fun things to do with Scratch.